on there tonight. Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum has your college football Saturday forecast. Lots of games tomorrow. That's right. Uh, big games all over around town, around the state as well, too. And the weather is going to cooperate, which is great news right now from the BJCC. Beautiful look at downtown as we usually see. Temperatures coming in uh, pretty warm right now. Uh, still sitting here at 70 degrees right now. Now the dew points up a little bit higher, a little extra moisture in there, helping a little bit with those fires that are out there, but still no burning. Remember that nothing this weekend. Don't do any of that burning because we will see more of those fires breaking out, especially next week as the drier air comes in. Temperatures go from uh, 72 in Coleman to 61 Talladega, 65 Tuscaloosa, Alabaster area, and over to Hamilton and St. Few over in Asheville and a couple high clouds kind of working the way across the state, but in reality, not much happening out there. The weather remains very quiet and this pattern is going to continue for a while until we get this front to move through, but this big ridge of high pressure is really strong. It's not allowing this front to push it off into the Atlantic Ocean yet. Eventually it will. A little energy will come from the Pacific. That's going to give this front enough oomph to be able to push that high out of here in the front and move through, but it is really cold behind the front. Take a look at this. Temperature is now 30 degrees. Omaha 30 33 Denver to Minneapolis teens from Bismarck and Billings and all this cold there is sinking southward. Now we're not going to get to the teens out there, but we could get down to the 30s for many of you in the wind chill could feel pretty cold out there too, but that's going to happen as we get into next week. Not tonight. We're in the 60s throughout the night tonight. Temperatures in tomorrow morning waking up to about 62 degrees here across the Birmingham area to Tuscaloosa 59 in Fayette 57 in Jasper to Gatson area. Alabaster Talladega there in the 50s. St. View Alex City back down to the Clanton area. Tomorrow Tomorrow may have to get some yard work done, rake some of those leaves, or maybe wait till next week when all the wind will come through with that front and put more leaves on the grass. But nonetheless, those 72 at 10 a.m. warming to 83 by 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and then 85 not only tomorrow, but Sunday as well, too. So the spring-like weather continues for at least a few more days. Great for football in the plains as my Bulldogs take on Auburn. 80 degrees out there. It looks like it'd be nice and warm one for the game down there in Auburn. And at 2 o'clock, Sanford's taking on Citadel. 82 degrees there over in Homewood. Looking pretty good for that home game as well, too. So no problems out there weather-wise, which is great. Great news uh, for those trying to get to some football in. Now the chance for rain is going to go up a little bit Monday and Tuesday. Sprinkles. That's all we're talking about here. Nothing significant, unfortunately, with this front as it moves in. This is Monday afternoon. You can see that cloud cover building in as the front moves through. Chilly arrives for Tuesday Halloween. So for trick or treating at 7 p.m., it'll be a little chilly, a little breezy out there, and that'll continue overnight into Wednesday morning and through Wednesday afternoon. We'll see a lot of sunshine, beautiful weather out there, but it's going to be downright cold as that chilly air really starts moving in as we get into Tuesday and into Wednesday across all of the deep south, all the way down to the Gulf Coast, believe it or not. Check out Tuesday morning. We're starting off in the 40s here, so that we've seen that already, but that by the afternoon, only 50s to 60s for high temperatures, kind of with a mostly cloudy sky, but then check out Wednesday morning, upper 20s to mid 30s. I mean, some of you there, Aniston, Asheville, Gadsden area, Coleman, Jasper, Hamilton may actually see your first freeze, but then your type factor in the wind, Windchill will be in the 20s for all of Central Bay. Yeah, that's the 20s we're talking about. So we're going to go from springtime weather to winter weather in a matter of days out there. Monday being the transition day, 74, 50s, Tuesday, Wednesday. How about lows around 34 again? That's in Birmingham. And we'll go back to the 60s as we head into the end 